this is the Rad Power File Hub, the ultimate travel gadget that you'll ever need. And here it is. This is gonna change traveling forever. You got some books, and then this is the device itself. Let's take it out the plastic. So the size of my hand is here. Pretty much the same size of my hand. Well, smaller. This is a router, so you can bridge your network. And once you connect the ethernet here, this is gonna act like a router. This is, so let's say for example, you at a hotel and you have to pay for Wi-Fi, but they have an ethernet. So if you have ethernet, you could plug it in. You can bypass all the login information that the hotel may need and bypass all of that. And this is going to act as its own independent router and to connect your devices just like that. So that's one. Two, it's a power bank. You could change the Wi-Fi and tenor band. So you have 2.4 uh, gigahertz and then you have a 5 gigahertz connection. I recommend using the 5 gigahertz to, um, to improve the speed. That's the fastest. Charge up your iPhone, your iPad. This is a 6,700 milliamp battery. Not the biggest in the world, but definitely will get the job done. We're gonna connect this to my iPhone. And by the way, this little micro here is to charge the unit itself. And it's gonna automatically charge. Oh, let's use. Okay, so you guys see, it's charging up. And then this button here, this is for the SD card. So let's say for example, you put an SD card, you wanna back up everything from the SD card into your hard drive. And I'm gonna talk more about that in a little bit. It's automatically gonna back up everything from the SD card to your external hard drive, which is just insane. That's the reason why I even brought this. And yeah, speaking of that hard drive, you can hook up a hard drive here and you can get any device and have it as a file manager. But enough of the chit chat, let's just actually do it. Now step one, you want to turn on the device. So I'm pressing and holding the power button and okay. It flashes. You got your Wi-Fi um, emblem here. So you have your internet. This is the ethernet. Wi-Fi, which is searching. Your 5G SD card is inserted and this is the battery life. So let's connect to the internet. I have my iPad Pro. I'm going to go into the settings, tap in on the RAV power. And if you want, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the 5G one, cause I want that 5G. And there you go, I press and hold the 5G button, and now you're gonna see 5G on your Wi-Fi's list. And now as for the password, it's just a bunch of ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight ones, and you tap on join, and you successfully connected to the RAV Power Hub. So since there's no internet here, I gotta link up my fireworks, which is my personal Wi-Fi here. And then you can be able to link it up with the file hub. But this is the app, it's searching for it. And it found it just like that on the fly. Very, very easy to set up. We're gonna tap on okay. And that is it. It's already, it's already connected. And you can hook up your SD card, your hard drive, whatever you have. Um, but just going over the internet real quick, you can just tap on connect. It's gonna search and scan for Wi-Fi networks. And yeah, all you gotta do is just tap on your Wi-Fi connection, which is fireworks. You're entering your Wi-Fi's password and you tap on join and it's gonna successfully connect. Now I always recommend Ethernet. Ethernet is superior than Wi-Fi, but if you have to go through Wi-Fi, this is gonna act like a Wi-Fi extender. So if you have a router downstairs, you can connect it to the downstairs router and into this router which is extended the network. We're gonna tap on connect. Please connect to the da, da da. Okay. And now we are successfully connected to the internet. So now we have internet while connected into, into the RAV uh, file hubs. I'm gonna just show you guys the file manager. You know, fun little fact guys, I always buy the same SD card every time for years. And then you guys gonna see the SD card flashing. All right, so this detected SD card. And this thing can only support up to four terabytes. That's a lot on paper, but I have a five terabyte mechanical hard drive here. I'm getting an SSD, it's coming tomorrow, $100, man. But let's see if it works. Five terabyte, but the hard drive is spinning. It is powered up, disk detected. And as you guys can see, where is it? Let's go to slide. Yeah, so there you go. It sees it just fine, which is just insane.
So 4,657 gigabytes, which is four terabytes. If I tap on file manager, it gets everything from the external hard drive. Um, in this case is USB disc and it gets everything from the hard drive just like that. All right, so this is the SD card that I just used. We're gonna put it in the file hub. We're gonna wait for it to detect just like that instantly. I can go into file management, SD card, and now I can see everything, all the video files here. But instead of doing all of this, let's say you're not near your iPad, you can just simply, all right, so let's say I put this on sleep mode. You can just use the actual hub itself. You just press this button, and you're gonna see the SD card emblem flash. So I'm pressing and holding it for five seconds, it's flashing, and what is that doing? This is only going to take whatever's on the SD card and put it on the external hard drive. And this is amazing. So you don't even need to have a device right there. Although I recommend having it just to see the process. And there you guys have it. The flashing has stopped. It is now solid. I'm gonna go back onto my iPad and we're gonna see if it really did copy. So I'm gonna launch up the app. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna go into my five terabyte hard drive, US disk. It created a file for me called SD Backup and it backed up everything from the SD card onto my external hard drive. This is gonna definitely come in handy. Maybe if you wanna download a movie on your hard drive, you can watch it on your iPad without sacrificing download space on your internal storage. And like I said, this can work anywhere. It can work in the plane, the car, the road trips, anywhere. You don't need no Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is not mandatory. It's like I'm gonna to go to the beach one. I don't know, cause I like Santa Monica. And now look. You could play any movie here. Wait, what is it saying? Okay, so I did stop it. I was watching it earlier. And there's an option where you can, you know, resume from that same playback. So if you're watching a long movie, it doesn't start the movie all over again. So I'm going to just tap on OK. And this is exactly where I left off. This is just a beautiful drone shot of Santa Monica. Um, and yeah, right from the external hard drive to this and then to the iPad, this is just an amazing combination for traveling. And yeah, it is moving. I'm moving kind of slow with the drone. So yep, there you guys have it. The sound is going and I paused, and I paused it. Now all of this varies on your hard drive. If you have an SSD, it's gonna be like 10 times faster than a traditional hard drive. But guys, I pretty much conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on and comment down below what you guys think. And other than that, your boy Pops. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Simply Pops. And have a simple day. Peace.